Hello everyone, um, just got a sudden urge to make a video, I don't even know what about, I just want to talk to you. Uh, I've been dormant on loading videos for quite a while now, and so I was, wasn't was painting for about a year and a half, took a little hiatus, it was kind of interesting, it was like a bad divorce. Um, and sometimes that happens. And since September, I've been back at it painting. And lately, I have uh, just noticed, been getting a lot more comments and private messages kind of coming out of nowhere, thanking me for my videos and my help and everything and appreciating my art. And I want to say for one, to all of you who have or any who haven't but have those sentiments, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, you know, gives me a purpose and a feeling of fulfillment to know that I have been able to share myself in a way that has helped or affected you in some way. Um, the reason I made these tutorial videos was because I, I knew the struggle I went to learning on my own and not really having much support um, and know that a lot of people, a lot of young people, don't get much support and quit on art, you know, because it gets frustrating. And if you don't have any any guidance or any structure, it can seem impossible, you know. And a lot of people think, "Oh, I'm just not not an artist. I'm not cut out for it." For it, but um, and sometimes we 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 have these labels, these images of like, you know, artists. It's like this thing, like you have to be this. It's like no, you can you can just mess around and doodle, and that's that's it. You don't have to call yourself an artist. You might make something beautiful. You might. Make a few drawings in your whole life, and there's something in them that's that's beautiful, and it's part of you. Um, the unfulfilling thing is when we don't have the skill to actually be in control uh, to some extent of what we're doing and have sort of a, a say in what we're doing. It kind of just comes out, and you're like, I don't know how I did that. Um, so my main point in my videos is to give some help, some structure, to develop skills so you actually have a choice in certain things you want to do um, uh, I've noticed through doing abstract art abstract has been abstract painting has been a way of really exploring the unknown because it's like how do you start where do you start from where does it go how do you know how to do it and practicing that has helped me in many ways and in my life and maybe I've, and as I've gotten comments from some of you out there, the stuff I've shared has affected your life in ways. Um, and I think everything does correlate. Everything we do has an effect on everything else because everything's interconnected. You know, so you learn you learn the art of painting, then you can learn the art of life in a sense. Um, and as I say, it's about the process, being present in the process, not the outcome. And you might have noticed if you're ever focused on a specific outcome uh, in something in your life and you go for it with that intention, it has to be that way. If it diverts off the path or the outcome that you thought, it's like it can be feel destructive and devastating or frustrating or like life's against you. Um, and just like painting, if you're open to the outcome being different and just being like, well, all right. I was going for this but this happened so I learned how that happened because I was present in the process I know what happened from beginning to end and it takes time to ha develop an awareness to be able to be aware of everything um, you know it takes a lot of time like the awareness I have of my processes now is a lot deeper and a lot more refined and detailed I see a lot more in, in depth things outside and things within me um, it's very much about being, I think the most important part is being aware of ourselves in the process, what we're experiencing, what we're going through. A lot of, in society in general, we're not, we're, like, the way we feel is not given enough importance and it's not addressed properly. Generally, we have a, we're taught, you know, feeling bad is bad get rid of it, find ways not to do it, or avoid things that make you feel bad, and do things that make you feel good. Um, funny how that finger came up. Because <laughs> I have a very uh, frustration 
have frustration about these ideas, you know, like positive thinking and uh, whatever, that kind of thing, you know, and through positive thinking or positive focus, when you're trying to shun the negative, the dark, it doesn't become integrated. It's part of life, you know, a forest burns down naturally. And what happens? It fertilizes the soil, beautiful things come out of it with time. Sometimes your life is burning down like a fucking forest. And you're like, oh shit, this sucks. The trees are burning, the birds are flying away, bunnies are getting burnt. Um, it is what it is. It, it's, it's hard to judge. How do you judge something? What is the point of reference for judgment? Generally, our point of reference is how we feel about something. <laughs> how I feel about something could be good that to somebody else sucks, and for myself, it seems good. Um, so, is anything really good or bad? It seems like I'm talking in abstractly in circles, but it all kind of comes together, which is the way I like my paintings to be, or, or they kind of do come out that way. <laughs> It all is interconnected um, because as through the process of painting, if you become aware that, for example, the frustration is part of the process and necessary and not, as I say, not to focus on the outcome, but being in the process, you will have a different perspective on the process and you'll be able to get through things, uh, perhaps complete things. But this is something that happens to me a lot. Still now, I'll be painting something and be like, my God, this looks like crap. Especially if it's a request from somebody. Somebody wants a custom piece and I start painting it and I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is working out. And it looks like crap. But because I have to do it, I continue. And then layers and layers later, all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, this is looking great. I don't know how the heck this happened. And that's because I've of how many times I've committed and all the puzzle pieces have been coming together. All these little things, you know, these uh, successes and mistakes, they come together and, you know, the things that might seem like a mistake, uh, in the future you'll go, oh, well, you know, like you might do a paintbrush line on, say, a graffiti piece and you want it to look a certain way and it looks like crap and you're like, this doesn't look right. But because you observed and were very aware of what was happening, if you were, you will register that, in, you register that in your mind. In the future, you'll know. Well, that doesn't work for what I was intending. Maybe it didn't create that highlight I wanted, but there was this weird transparency effect where there was like you, sometimes you do a line and it's partly transparent and partly solid looking, like on the edges. And you might be like, "Oh, I can use that. This is an idea. I'll I'll, I'll do a whole different painting with, and use that technique that was at once a mistake." But because I know how I did that, I'm in control. I get to decide that I'm using it. So now I'm in charge. It's not happening by accident. So those are happy accidents. Isn't that what Bob Ross says? <laughs> happy accidents. Happy accident is an accident and you don't judge it. You put it in its place. You go, not what I wanted at this moment, but this is how it works. And this is how I teach people in person when somebody's doing something and I'm I'm observing that some I might observe maybe a lack of commitment in their stroke. You know, they're doing something a certain way and it's not that I see it as wrong. I see that I could I see the intention. There's one thing um, that's common which I used to do too, which is like you want something to have a feeling of like this boom expansiveness and you'll do the brush stroke where you lift the brush off the paper like like it's gonna look like sparks are flying but it really looks like a mess at the edge it just looks you know like and so then I will say I'll show how that happened and goes so when you did that this happened and you see how it has the little grainy area blah 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 and now if you do it this way this will happen and maybe what you were trying to do is create this effect but you were trying to do it this way and then maybe I can show how the effect can actually be executed. Something that made me not want to go to art school is that I, a lot of art teachers think there's a certain way to do things and that's probably why a lot of people don't go to art school or they get kind of brainwashed. This is kind of 
dangerous. You know, people think that they know, like they have the answer. It's like, oh, well, you don't do that that way. It's like, who the fuck are you to say? There's such a limited perspective on like, you know, things have to be a certain way. And if they're not, they're, if they're out of the box, it's like, oh, I don't know, what is that crap? <laughs> and it's funny because we're supposed to be so rebellious and innovative. And meanwhile, we're actually scared of something new because it doesn't fit in with our prerequisites uh, as a graffiti artist. To each his own and maybe that's why a lot of you tune into me because I don't have this harsh rigid judgment I'm here to just support you and what you want to do you might not want to do graffiti or maybe you do now and you won't in the future but the ideas and the techniques will serve you in some way even if not in painting then something else um, and another thing I find is other things inform my painting my martial arts I see the movements sort of in a way, the flow. I see it in my paintings, the practice in my martial arts of receiving energy, relaxing into it, turning it back on the person, the relaxed flow, then the hard finish, the structure, the balance, all these things. I practice it over and over and over for years and it shows up in my work. And I could look at the like the stuff back here, there's like this flow and then this boom this flow and this sharp inserts and all you know all this craziness um i feel like i could talk forever i've had so many things on my mind lately i've been wanting to say um so i'm doing this to start um something i wanted to say was that any of you who want to be in touch um, I'd love to be in touch um, you know I'm on Facebook I have a few artist pages uh, Miles Wickham rescue um, that's what I'm on mostly and I'm starting to do live streaming when I have a chance um, so maybe that'll be a regular thing and we can interact more I'd love to be able to interact and I haven't done videos partly because I've come to a place where I want to be talking about something where somebody's engaging with me about it so I can respond and really address something specific that's happening to somebody as opposed to these ideas that come to me because sometimes they come out kind of loose like like this it goes all over the place um, you know I consider you my friend if you comment or message and I don't respond right away or it takes a really long time like I apologize um, living kind of a scattered life there's a lot of things going on between you know work surviving creating art all different arts I practice and managing my abstract mind I'm not a structured person and I'm learning so if I don't respond I probably have gotten your message and I really appreciate it um, feel free to poke and prod if you know and like message me again if, if you need some help or you're, you're really having a frustrating experience and if you're in New York City this is what that's where I live um, I am a teaching artist at a nonprofit gallery in Carroll Gardens uh, and yeah, well I guess nothing else is coming to me right now so thanks for watching um, I hope you know it's Ultimately, it's for you, and what I get out of it is knowing that I've given something, and also really to have, I feel a sense of community and friendship. I feel like I'm making a connection. It's, it's like a friendship. As much as there's all this down talk, this negative talk about social media, like it's keeping us separate, it's not really. It's, it's, a, it's a way you can connect. It's all the way. It's all about how you interpret it. And... That's the bell ringing, my friend's here for a little acting practice, so that's my cue to go. Love you all. Peace out. Thank you very much. Talk soon. Reach out. Later.